All right, voltage per to production video here. We're at five volts input, 37 volts at the cell. Not enough for production. You see the very tiniest little bit there. Bumping the cell up to about 48 volts, about 50 volts here. 6.9 volts input. Uh, 0.29 amps. Just a little bit on that first primary tube in each cell. Which you may be able to see on that video barely. Bringing us up to... Ninety volts here. Still only production on that primary tube inside of each cell. Bumping up to a hundred volts. We got one or two volts. Primary cell in each tube is producing slightly. Other tubes are barely starting to produce. We're at 13 volts input, uh, 1 amp consumption input. Across the cell we have uh, 50 milliamps. Bumping this up to 110. 112 or so. I see all cells are starting to produce. We're about 14.79 volts input, 1.41 amps. In this series of videos, I document my progress on unlocking the secrets of Stanley A. Meyer. For over a decade, I've studied and replicated the devices of Stanley Meyer, specifically the water fuel cell, a device that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen for use as a combustible fuel. Here, I discuss water fuel cell theory in hopes of connecting with other like-minded individuals to unlock the secrets. This is Stan's Revenge. Up to 120 volts. Across the cell, all cells are producing. We've got uh, 17 volts input. 2.3 amps. Bumping up higher. To 130 volts. Still no movement on my flow meter. Just barely levitating. All right, we're 20 volts input, 3.84 amps. Here's 140 volts coming up. Hundred forty volts across the cell. Twenty five volts input at six point four six amps. And we're just at the mark below one hundred on the flow meter. We're taking it up the last uh, four or five volts here. It's 140 volts across the cell. 7.3 amps consumed at 28.9 volts.
See if we can adjust this frequency a little bit. There goes our MOSFET. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Stan's Revenge.